Well, I wanna use... I could use BB as my main damage dealer and bring Tamamo and Merlin, but I want to use Musashi, so I'm going to go with this team. Alright, let's do this. Let's go for that lore. And then after this, uh, after I do this, I think I'm going to do 110 pull to try to see if I can get either Da Vinci or Jalter. I'd be happy with either. I already have a Da Vinci, and NP2 of Da Vinci would be quite nice. And I don't have Jalter, so, yeah. Thing is, Da Vinci's pretty good, but his um, NP is not too strong, so getting another level on that NP would be nice. So, from what I can tell, I think I want to try to get Arjuna first. And. Alright, so Musashi has her arts card, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the first skill. And I think. I wanna give that to Waver, because I wanna get his NP up first. Usually I would wanna try to get Merlin's NP up, but I wanna be able to use Waver's NP as soon as possible. So let's do that. That'll help get Waver's NP up. And Musashi, yep, that's a good deal of NP. Alright, nice. Musashi got a decent am amount of NP from there. Ooh, Musashi's got a Brave Chain. Huh. Alright, so I'm actually going to do this. Uh, forgo her Brave Chain and instead... Because Waver has class advantage anyway. And that'll help get... Yep, he's got his NP up because of the CE. Yeah, that's one thing I was worried about. Arjuna using a skill to charge his NP. Now... So I think that will get Merlin's NP up. Maybe it would have been better to use Merlin's Invul and... Okay, got some stuns. Or got a stun. Oh, two stuns. That's good. Yeah, but now Arjuna's gonna be ready to NP this turn. And the only protection I have is... Yeah. So that's the only real consistent source of protection. And... I'll use that as a heal for him now, because I think I can trust Musashi to do plenty of damage for now, even without the hero creation. And, of course, I'm taking basically a cheating team here. Waver, Merlin, and Musashi, level 100, NP2, Max Fode. That's up, up there as one of the most overpowered teams you can possibly take, but I'm not really in the mood for fighting this out with a super challenging way. I just want to get this over with uh, so that I can collect my lore. And, and actually, oh, I forgot Arjuna has insta-kill on his NP. This is bad. This is really bad. Let's see how this goes. Okay, whew. None of the insta-kill is propped. Okay, so, and so Musashi got her NP up. Let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna need Waver to survive another, at least another turn. Because he can get his NP up next turn if needed. Let's give her the this buff. And I'm not sure if her NP can kill him outright, because she doesn't have class advantage. And if she had cre hero creation, that might be able to do it, but she doesn't. But ju with just her own buff, she should do a good chunk of damage. Oh, okay, yeah. Wow, 126 without class advantage. Yeah, okay, so... Oof. Oh, phew, I was worried she might attack Waver there. 
So now, if I can delay for a few more turns, let's do that. Waver is close to dying. Yeah, the worry is, well, all right, let's try that. I'm gonna have Waver do this. That will help gain his NP up and I think if I'm lucky I can I should be able to get his NP back up within another turn. Oof, no stuns. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, the big danger now is that Waver is just going to die though. Alright, the defense buffs will help. Okay, no, he's going to get his NP up, huh? And I can overcharge his NP too with Merlin. Okay, yeah, this this can work. So if I'm lucky here, Waver will stun a few, and the overcharge will help him stun. I figure if I can get Merlin's... Ah, no stuns, damn, okay. I figure if I can get Merlin's invol up on the turn that Arash NPs, then I won't need to waste any attacks on Arash. Okay, so... But... Okay, so I will... I. I will be able to use her in bull. Now, so Brin's NP damage down only lasts one turn, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I'll save. Um, I'll save Musashi's NP for next turn. I'll use her defense buff right now. And. This will help her help uh, Merlin gain NP, and I'll save Masha's taunt for when either Bryn or Jalter NPs. Alright, so got the defense buffs. Okay, good. Got the invul. I hope Jelter doesn't use her Pierce Invul skill before she NPs, that would be annoying. And I don't, actually I'll save Musashi's NP for another turn. Yeah. Merlin will get his NP up naturally next turn, so I can just do... Actually, this will help both create stars and get Masha's NP up. Okay, so she lost... At, where was it? Removing debuffs from Jolter? Okay, good. Yeah, Jolter doesn't get her... Pierce, use her Pierce info. Raise crit. Alright, and Arash. Use Estella, and that should kill him, right? Yep, okay, good. Oof. I'm tempted to use uh, Musashi's NP on Jalter to reduce those crits, but. Ah. Alright, so Musashi should have no trouble killing... Ah, maybe I should have used Hero Creation just in case, but I think Musashi will have no trouble killing Brynhild just with the NP. Because she does have class advantage here. Yeah, that she's, she'll do it. But I think the crits on her busters, they were... 
with hero creation, these would have ripped off another uh, bar, but lacking hero creation, didn't. Oof, okay. Um, yeah, I'll use this to get our NP back up. And let's do this. Yeah, this is, these are good cards. Yeah, this way I'll get the extra buff on, or extra overcharge on Masha's NP, extra defense. And Merlin, well, the overcharge would have meant five more stars per turn. Would have been nice, but not the biggest deal. And yeah, that buff block's annoying. Oh, that crit. Oof, man, Mosh. That was so much damage. I guess the lack of defense. Alright, so. <laughs> I'll try this. I kind of like this idea. I'll use Jolter's NP. And that will put in a buff block on her. So when she breaks the bar. I wonder if that will block her buffs, what that happens when a uh, bar breaks. I actually don't know if this Jolter gets any buffs on break bars, but, and, you know, bosses often do, so we'll find out. Okay, no, it, it was a debuff on us, so. Oh nice, okay, so at least that blocked that buff. But now... With the attack buff... Another attack buff... Uh, what's the... Hmm. Kinda waffling between either using Jolter's Arts cards to recharge her NP, or... Yeah, I don't think Musashi's gonna get one-shotted by Jolter, so I'll actually do this. Give her a crit stars, hopefully she'll be able to crit. And... Uh, some good odds. Yeah, and try to get her NP back up. Oof, no crit. Ah, neither crits, but... She's close to getting her NP back up. Damn, that crit. Alright, Jolter's got her NP up. Now I want to save her invul for next turn. So, I will use... I'll do that. And... So I think Musashi with the hero creation can take off another one of Jolter's bars. Now I think when Jolter's final break bar comes, Jolter will reduce our NP charge. So my Jolter or my friend's Jolter would lose her full NP status, which it's a bit annoying, but not not something I can't deal with, I think. Okay, 122. Alright, nice, got the crit. Yeah, 30% NP charge loss. <sighs> so much damage, damn. Alright, so she's got her NP up now. So this is actually really good. So Jolter, I can use their invuls, and Jolter's got her invul up. And she's got this crit, which her crit, it's buffed with her own buffs, and that might actually kill it. Oof, it came close. Oh, okay. Wait, I thought Jolter had a Pierce Invul skill. Doesn't she? Doesn't maybe? Okay, I must have been mistaken. She has a uh, 
Her buster buff provides an invul, but she doesn't have a pierce invul. Right. And now... Haha. So, I think for doing the most damage... Meh, let's try to end it with the buster at the end. I think that buster at the end will do it. There we go. Yeah. You know, who knew? Musashi taking four five stars uh, makes this challenge quest actually not too hard. <laughs> Ooh, wait, what? Do they all does it automatically give a heart? I I didn't know that if it does. Either that or I just got really lucky on that run. Wow. Huh. Alright, got that lore. Hells yeah, I, I really need lores. Gosh. I'm not going to use it right away, but I think I have eight, seven or eight lores now. And we'll get another one when I do this quest, which, as you can see, it's not going to unlock for a little bit. About a little more than 12 hours from now.